title and so everyone know that uh, plants are primary producers and they have central role in maintaining of the ecosystem they serve as sinking of the atmospheric carbon they provide respirable oxygen for all the living biota they provide food shelter clothing and medicine they are also cheapest source of energy and and power generation and the best example is fuel wood is a very common uh, use by the local communities even charcoal formation is also done in different areas uh, by the local community and even uh, these charcoals are used in uh, snowfall area or having a very harsh uh, uh, winter season and uh, for for even uh, cooking of uh, various uh, various things uh, in your home it's a very commonly used in local communities where there is no supply of gas so they sustain recharging of the drinking water from in the river they sustain pollinators for ensuring seed fruit production they conserve soil and water for our canal irrigation system and they are also providing ecosystem services and various other ones so this is overall chart indicating uh, the uh, the common challenges as well as uh, to meet their challenges plant resources are providing the basic raw material for them like uh, health is a very common issue even uh, you all are, are well aware about the covid 19 recently appeared as a pandemic disease and for this purpose i'll i'll give you uh, some of the ideas what what are done and what is being done in future then they are part of the food and uh, from the agricultural pro uh, productivity they are used in construction as a fuel as a animal feed they are used uh, uh, popularly as a biofuel fuel in developed world in developing countries and and in, they are mitigating the environmental hazard and pollution in the form of phytoremediation that is very common and they are part of even our uh, lifestyle and recreation purpose they are used in textile eco tourism in certain other creative industries they are uh, refining water and air uh, uh, like uh, they are recycling waste water contaminants air quality and climate and they are part of the raw material for sustainable product designing and conservation of scarce natural resources so pakistan is a diverse diversified land because because of three major uh, you know uh, uh, fluctuating uh, parameters are uh, you can say climatic uh, factors or conditions like we have uh, uh, zero elevation uh, in the south it arabia sea and it is start from there and uh, rising up up to the 10000 meter they uh, pakistan have uh, even uh, below freezing point of the temperature that go beyond even uh, 50 celsius in the desert areas and we have uh, 50 mm rainfall to 2000 mm rainfall in pakistan so these uh, temperature and moisture these are uh, important component for giving diversified ecological zones in the country so everyone is uh, very much familiar about such kind of landscape like we have deserts uh, in this south and in the north we have glaciers in central area we have uh, a, a agricultural land plain area like uh, in uh, uh, in sindh and uh, punjab lower punjab and you can see here this picture uh, this is mangrove forest uh, that is located in coastal area this is part of the uh, makran coast and towards the gol national park balochistan and we have certain alpine pasture in the country again uh, you can enjoy uh, the diversified forest types in the country this is again uh, some of the pictures to indicate the landscape diversified landscape of the country and this is the region uh, that is located in uh, gilgit 
where there is a merger of three uh, great mountain ranges himalayas karakaram and hindu kush range and uh, this is a meeting place in the gilgit and this zone is uh, known as the center of the endemic species of pakistan so according to the uh, uh, global to uh, ranking for world's most biological terrestrial freshwater and marine ecosystems out of 200 uh, uh, these systems we have five ecoregions located in pakistan like you can see here these are locations like we have uh, uh, here uh, ranaf kutch area we have tiptan plateau uh, in the very extreme area then we have uh, western himalayas region we have indus delta overall this is the overall indus delta and arabian sea so overall pakistan has over 6000 species and out of them we have to three endemic species that is proportion uh, proportionally 7.7% of the total flora of pakistan we have 21 angiosperm we have 189 pteridophytes or we can uh, call them as ferns we have 775 algae and out of them we have 20 uh, endemic species and from fungi we have 4500 species and two of them are endemic with reference to angiosperm angiosperms are known as uh, flowering plants so these are seven largest family distributing the flora of, uh, uh, flora uh, or plant species having the variety of endemic species so uh, overall we have uh, six uh, main uh, forest types uh, in the uh, pakistan like in the coastal area mangrove uh, forest are located containing nematophore roots you can see here the nematophore roots are respiratory roots we have riverine forest located uh, uh, in the indus delta we have tropical thorn forest uh, located in, uh, in central as well as in uh, in a desert country we have himalayan ranges like in mari kotli satya kauta national park parrot hydro power projects and other areas of the country we have coniferous forest in the uh, kpk and some part of the uh, kohistan area even uh, some part of the uh, ajk as well as sawat and malakand areas we have alpine forest which are located in glaciers up to glacier areas uh, in into the north northern areas and juniper forest is a unique forest ecosystem that is known as the oldest forest system of the country located in zarat and it is also center of for some of the very rare threatened as well as endemic species uh, in in this uh, forest ecosystem so coming towards their uses uh, out 6000 species approximately 2000 to 2500 species are known as medicinal one and out of them 100 medicinal plants are used by the local herbalist to to prepare their remedies and from that sources we have 600 species which are sold in the herbal local market for the development of various herbal products and then 25 species are part of the condiment and spices these are also known as a medicinal so this is the chart indicating uh, uh, some of the highly utilized species which are even uh, uh, sold in tons in the local market and they they, they are collected uh, from various parts of the country this table is indicating some of the very important species which are Uh, produced uh, which are located in uh, wild farm in different areas so distribution is also given along with their medicinal name or their uh, yunani name so coming towards the pandemic covid 19 recently china has uh, 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 formulated three uh, uh, traditional medicine traditional chinese medicine and formulas based on the herbs 
and uh, they are open in the market i am going to share you about uh, the uh, the research so this is uh, just one injection that also uh, produced by the china and available in the market zu beijing injection and uh, this is another this is a kind of capsule these all herbs are made up of two or three species which are also part of our country these are also found in our uh, country like the honeysuckle that is the lonicera they are using uh, two three different uh, types of uh, uh, species of lonicera and then uh, sweet wormwood so everyone know that uh, we have uh, over 20 species of artemisia even artemisia absentium and meritima these are very important uh, component and even uh, in literature it has been reported that uh, artemisia is uh, is a drug of choice because artemisia artemisia is also available in the market and that was already tested uh, as a anti malarial agent however uh, it, its effects on on the respiratory tract so in the case of flu and cough as well as fever these are popularly used by the local communities so we have uh, different conventional uh, or wild fruits this is the table indicating uh, some of the uh, wild fruits which are not only collected by the local communities and they are uh, somewhat Uh, sold in the local market and they are edible uh, in different uh, rural areas where uh, there is no uh, proper cultivated uh, fruits are available so in order to meet their uh, dietary requirement they are using these resources or these fruits these are some of the photos and these are wild vegetable these are known as a pot herb they are cooked uh, uh, and in in all kind of our traditional uh, groups or uh, communities living in different areas in far flung areas uh, there is a, a lack of uh, transportation there is a lack of uh, supply chain of the veg vegetable as well as fruit so in order to meet uh, their uh, dietary requirement local people they have tested wild uh, uh, ed edible plants and they are consuming uh, as a raw material this is one uh, two example like the, the person is selling out in the local market it is known as the incense as a uh, sangar and uh, these are actually a part of the prosopis cinerea uh, commonly it is uh, known as a kandi in sindhi and in punjab it is known as a jand so these are sold in the market and people are uh, uh, collecting it uh, from the, uh, from uh, such kind of person and they are cooking vegetable this is another uh, example caperis decidua that is known as a kirut or karere and uh, this uh, is not only used as a cooking vegetable but mostly it is a uh, it is popularly used for making uh, pickle or achar and this is another jungle kalera uh, karela that is known as a momodiga uh, dayaka and balsami these are also uh, available in local market and people are using uh, to cook them and uh, again uh, against the diabetic patients too these are some of the tropical fruits of the country these are temperate fruits these are indigenous trees having variety of their uses these are uh, is the list of the species used for fuel wood as well as charcoal formation you can see here how people are uh, converting uh, the wood into charcoal and these are used as a agricultural implement and building material you can see here these are uh, some of the highly palatable species and uh, such kind of species have uh, very much important role uh, in developing the local communities because uh, there are certain range lands in our country and these range lands cannot be converted into agriculture land and people are enjoying the uh, natural resources from these range lands in order to meet the uh, uh, need of uh, their domesticated animal and in such area uh, in all such areas Uh, livestock keeping is the only source of their 
livelihood so in order to meet uh, their needs there are certain species which are used for this purpose doctor uh, sir doctor and then gum and resin sir kindly conclude your sorry um, i am just uh, showing slides yes yeah, different uses honey tapping there are certain miscellaneous uses you can see here variety of uh, products by products made up of uh, various resources shelter belt these are uh, providing habitat for wildlife soil conservation is a important uh, component and uh, these species are meeting uh, these requirements we have these uh, wild re relatives in the country and these can be used uh, in our traditional breeding program in order to 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 make certain uh, you can say drought and salt tolerant resources for phytoremediation there are variety of species we can utilize them these are ornamentally uh, uh, can be used these species can be used as ornamental source and these are fa found in wild and these are native to our country there is a fiber industry especially in hingol national park and people are using nanorope sericiana commonly it is known as a mazri palm and uh, there are variety of products you now people are making soul from the leaf even that that single uh, leaf can be used as a pan while cooking uh, 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 while making tea in the field we have seen how people are using in fresh farm these are some of the endemic species of the country so uh, this is uh, main uh, focused uh, you can say uh, slide because this is uh, a multi purpose plant that can be used for multi purpose uh, purposely and uh, there are about 5000 products and by products made up of uh, this single hemp so uh, in pakistan there is only common use uh, making bhang and making demolition drink and uh, people are just uh, using as a refreshing and a cheap intoxicant uh, you know uh, compound however there are variety of its uses and uh, just one acre uh, produced from the cannabis can be earned uh, can can be used to earn 1 crore rupees just we can uh, we can see uh, other products so the what is the way forward the way forward is to utilize our these natural resources in a sustainable way like uh, we we can uh, utilize these resources for developing product but on the other hand we have to see their existing population or maintaining their population so pakistan being a tropical country possesses diversity of ecological zones habitats with ample plant wealth biodiversity is a major component needs to be better understood uh, to attain the goal of sustainable development and the emerging new uh, pandemic disease covid-19 appeals to search new compounds from plant resources uh, in ancestral heritage and in this connection i have submitted three uh, research projects to various funding agency based on uh, various products uh, as well as patents that which are available from the plant sources and these are patented in us so on on the same line we are working on them thank, thank you, you very so much. much thank you so much dr rahmatullah qureshi for such a uh, good uh, um, information on the plant resources of pakistan and how we can use them uh, sustainably Uh, i would like to thank you all uh, for joining us all the participants uh, the uh, my colleagues my teachers and and the worthy speakers uh